was the night before Christmas, and all through the snow, not a creature was stirring, except for the crow. He paced back and forth as he started to frown. I need an idea for a new countdown! Puzzled and puzzled and puzzled some more. And all of a sudden... Okay, you know what? Just stop with the rhyming right now. It's starting to sound like Gruntilda from Banjo-Kazooie. Fine, I'm not getting paid for this anyway. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. And that's what I thought. Hey, there actually is a knock at the door. Oh, well, hey, it's Butterfly Raven. Come on in. Why do you have a pony? Because it's a pony. It's glittery. So, what brings you to this neck of the woods? Well, me and Mr. Pony heard that you had uh, some trouble coming up with a new countdown, and I have an idea. Okay. And Mr. Pony just just go look outside right now. Okay. Please, please, please. Okay, well, let's see. Well, there's nothing even out there. There's just nothing but snow and... Wait a second. That's it! One of my favorite things about the holidays while I'm playing video games is revisiting the snow slash ice levels in a game. It always puts me in that holiday spirit. Just like how most families watch certain movies and TV specials during this time of the year, I always revisit these levels as my own tradition. And alongside me for this Christmas special is my fiance, Butterfly Raven. Now, there are only going to be two rules on this countdown. Only one game per franchise, and only games that Crow has played can be on this list. I played a few of these games myself, but not all of them. We also understand there are tons of snow levels out there. So if your favorite isn't on the list, chances are we haven't played it yet. So sit back, relax, get a nice cup of hot cocoa, and find a spot near the fireplace. Cause this is Crow Murder 15's top 10 snow slash ice levels. Every Mega Man and Mega Man X game has some form of a water or ice robot master slash maverick. It was a toss-up between Frostman from Mega Man 7 and Frost Ra Walrus from Mega Man X4. But I'm going to have to go with a walrus on this one. The level design is really cool. No pun intended. And you can even see frozen mavericks in the background from previous Mega Man X games like Chill Penguin and blizzard buffalo see if i was chill penguin i would have done this if frost walrus tried to freeze me Upset. Oh. Yeah, it might seem a little cheap putting a snow level that's based on Toronto, Canada on this list, but we couldn't help it. It's a great level. See, I love beat-em-ups, arcade-style games like this, and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World definitely falls under this category. It's constantly snowing in this level. Halfway through it, you can even throw snowballs at enemies, and the music in this level is simply amazing. Even Kim Pine agrees with me. That was epic. Holy crap, this game is great. Before the days of Halo, if you wanted to get your hands on an awesome multiplayer first person shooter, then GoldenEye was the game for you. And one of the best levels in this game, and the number eight spot on this list, is Surface. Probably one of the largest levels in the game. The only complaint I have about this is James Bond himself. I mean, look at him. I know the Nintendo 64 didn't have the best graphics, at times, but he looks like a fuzzy Eskimo. The Legend of Zelda series has seen its fair share of ice temples. Some are cool and some are more frustrating than some of the water temples in the series, and you know how much people love those! But my favorite one is from Twilight Princess. Now granted, it's not as much as a temple than a mansion per se. Plus you get one of the best weapons from this place, the ball and chain. Not to mention a pretty sweet boss battle fight. But first they decide to scare the ever loving crap out of you before the fight.
Now granted, there are two snow levels in Super Mario 64, but Cool Cool Mountain has a little bit more to offer in a level rather than Snowman's Land. You have a huge landscape to explore, you get to help a snowman put his head back on his body, and the best of all, racing a freaking penguin. There's actually a shortcut during this track, but if you use it, the penguin yells at you and tells you not to cheat, so if you use it, you do not get a star. Since when did penguins become such douchebags? Welcome, punch! Now this was a really tough choice because it's really hard to pick a single town from Skyrim because half of the game has snow in it. But the ironically enough named Winterhold gets the number five pick. It's constantly snowing and it is home to the Winterhold College of Mages. It's a really cool place, plus it's one of the few areas where you can actually buy Daedric Hearts if you know the right people. And you know how dragons just appear out of nowhere attacking you? Well, the college isn't safe either. You know, the more I think about it, it kind of reminds me of Hogwarts. Do you have any idea how serious this is? Now we're getting to the good stuff. Donkey Kong Country is a great game that revolutionized graphics for the Super Nintendo. And this level was one of those great examples. Snow Barrel Blast seems like your typical snow level, but as you progress through the level, it starts to snow. It starts to get heavier and heavier until you can barely see the screen. Can you imagine if they tried this crap in other levels? I'm sure Butterfly Raven's uncle will be proud of me on this one. Considered to be one of the best Star Wars games ever, it starts with one of the best levels ever, the Battle of Hoth. It takes one of the best scenes from the Star Wars trilogy, the original good one, and puts you in the driver's seat, so to speak. This level is the same battle as the one you see in The Empire Strikes Back, fighting against probe droids, ATSTs, and ATATs also being able to use the tow cable to trip up the at, -AT walkers. Man, it must hurt falling like that. This and the number one pick were so hard to decide from, but Walrus Cove definitely deserves to be high on this list. Granted, it's part of a world that's full of snow levels, but Walrus Cove puts you in that Christmas time mood, especially with the music. Ironically enough, a character from the number one pick is actually in this game and made by the same company. Can you guess what it is? I can't possibly think of any other level from a game that I've played that screams Christmas time than Frazizi Peak from Banjo Kazooie. It has everything great music, snowmen, little village houses, walruses, polar bears, sleds, Christmas lights and trees, and best of all, presents! I think the only thing that could have made this level a little better is if they actually had a Santa Claus in it. But if you think about it, you act kind of actually get to play Santa Claus for the three little polar bears by giving them the three presents. To me, this level itself was the video game equivalent of Christmas. And that's why Frazizi Peak from Banjo-Kazooie is my number one snow slash ice level. I'm Crow of Murder 15, and before I'm gone, Merry Christmas to all and to all we game on.